Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. We're <laughs> in the building. Welcome in back to Girl Chat Sports. Yes, it is Hot the blackout day. here. Oh, we both have an ACT t shirt. I'm like, oh, let me sit back. You this is my ACT? very first ACES t shirt. Hey. Your ACES t shirt. Yeah. Yes. Representing. <laughs> Repping like, hard. Yeah, I love that. We appreciate all of the people that listen to the show. If you're listening now, please share on your feed. Um, please like, subscribe to all of our YouTube, Facebook, the Facebook group, our Instagram and Twitter. We do have some coverage of other items and stuff that we show on those that maybe aren't cross cross uh, populated but feel free to tune on in we've got a guest jumping in here in a second we'll get with him yeah. um but we just want to say thank you and also thanks to those that um have wondered where we were because you know thanks to the aces games and the semifinals, we've had to push our shows the last couple weeks we're also be pushing our show next week so no we're not moving to thursday permanently it's just happened that this is the best way it's working next show uh will be next thursday as well unless yeah. If there's a game five situation, which I feel like there's going to be, yeah, we'll uh, we may that. not, we may not have a show next week, but we'll get to all that in a second. Um, first, I, I want to bring on our guest and see if you want to just get into these topics with us real quick. All right. Hey, Dre, you ready? Yeah, let's hey. go. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> what's up, Dre? What's good, Dre? What's so much. What's good, Queens? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? So we, thank you for being with us today. Uh, our guy Dre Day out there on the East Coast, host of Sports with Dre Day podcast. Make right. sure you follow him on all social media as well. Um, thank you for joining us. I know it's late for you out there on the East Coast, but um, I see. I don't go to sleep. I don't go to sleep to two, three in the morning anyway, so it don't matter to me. So it's all good. We all good. Oh, yeah, we all good. We all good. We all good. <laughs> So I wanted to get off with a couple hot topics. Uh, one is a topic that I didn't even realize was happening, but it became hot to me. And of course, uh, one of my close friends, Natalie, because you know I had to bring it to her attention. Um, there's been some news that the TB12 household has been going through some uh, possible relationship issues because we all know that uh, Tom Brady had that 11-day personal leave from training camp. He came back saying that, you know, it's all personal. Everybody got has different situations. You know, I'm 45. It's, what do you say? Like it was, a, you know, everybody's going through shit and just got to figure it out. Well, page six out there in New York, an infamous New York Times came out with a post on Thursday that Giselle and him were in an epic fight over his return to the NFL. I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. I mean, you know, apparently, and there was some news that back in 2020, she already had an issue with, you know, he wasn't doing enough for her and the kids that obviously, you know, his number one was football. And so, of course, they were waiting for the retirement. Retirement happens. I'm sure she's ecstatic and ready to have home, home life. He goes back to the NFL. You know, I sent this to Natalie and this is what she sent me. She sent that picture. And she was like, well, it's probably because Giselle found out about us. She found out about his little, on, you know, his rendezvous in Las Vegas. Uh, <laughs> but have you heard anything, Dre, out there as far as, you know, what's going on? Have you talked to Guru? I mean, Guru's our local Tampa Bay Bucks fan. I'm just curious if there's some weight to this. I mean, I kind of honestly, read into a few articles. Honestly, I heard something. I heard something about the situation, and that might have had something to do with it. But my whole thing is this: you got this banging ass wife at home. <laughs> Why are you still that. playing? Why are you still like? There's nothing left to prove. Nothing. The Except your salary. Except your salary, because she makes <laughs> way way more money than him. That, even more for you to retire. The queen, the queen gonna take care of you. All she been wanting is for you to stay at home. Stay at home. The you you missing so much stuff with these kids, taking them to school. Whether the daughter does ballet or the boys are playing football, or whatever you missing that. Like my God, there's nothing left for you to prove. There's nothing left. You are the goat, the undisputed goat. Nobody is arguing that. When you won that Super Bowl with Tampa, that should have been your angle right there to retire. Right then and there, you should have retired. He ain't ready. 
<laughs> he can't. He don't want to stay at home with the He's kids. He's not ready. And here's the thing. I'm not about to blow this whole page six thing out of proportion. All couples fight. Okay, let's sure. be real. She probably fought with him the season before. They all fight. And guess what he going to do? He's going she to been fighting with that dude since he was in New England. She, guess what he's going to do, though? Guess what he's going to do? He's going back to work. Hey, he's going back to work. I don't even work. care if they do fight. Guess who's going to be on that field in two weeks? He is. Tom. Mm -hmm. So we could have this conversation of what was what and what was said. Yeah, she's probably tight. I mean, I'd probably be tight because your husband's traveling. You don't get to spend time with the family. When is it all in? That kind of thing. But a fight's a fight. All couples fight, okay? I, I'm not... This is not going to warn him to say this is my last season. It's probably not going to warn him to say, you know, I'm going to retire before the season starts. This man is going to show up. Did you, when he and announced it, days, did you believe it though? Few, two of those days was probably the fight with the couple. The rest of the seven days was them probably making up. And and knocking <laughs> her off like real good. For her to just, well, we going to be better. quiet and you're going to go on that field and work. We good. So we he, don't he, know. He he, he better be doing that, though. I tell you that much. He better be doing some serious making up. Serious. Well, I mean, apparently, apparently, and I don't know when, if it was around the time of his 11-day absence, maybe he had to leave and come back. But apparently she left for Costa Rica amid this major fight or series of fights, and he was staying behind for training camp. So. Well, yeah, because guess what? He's going to be on that field, and she's like, I don't want to, you know, I want no parts of it. I'm going to take a vacation. I need Listen, a breather. I'd, I'd be in Costa Rica, about. too, right now. Please. Let, right. Like, not if you want to do some kind of silent treatment, you can hop on your jet and go to Costa Rica. That's nice. Right. I'd, I'd be down with it. I so yeah, that was interesting. Again, we don't know. I mean, you know, of course, we got we got uh, Natalie in the comments. Her, you know, she <laughs> she she she's in here. <laughs> that's that's her man. That's her numero uno. Okay, but she's not with him right now. Giselle no, is. Uh -uh. So when that's gonna happen? Make that breaking well, news. I want to see that page six. Right. When I see the wedding right, announcement between right. she and TB twelve. <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully we hear it before the announcement. But yes, right, most definitely. <laughs> so you know, it's not even me laying heavy on him. I just again, I think this is just ridiculous. Like, yeah, that's that's cool. I'm sure it was some kind of squabble. I thought it was a family emergency. It is a family emergency. The definitions of that. But she ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. And like to my point, guess who's gonna be on that field in two weeks? He is. He is. I initially. I or in one it. week, actually, one we, week. we got we've got one week till football oh exactly God, today. I feel like it's two weeks. I think we're still in August. No, right? we're, we're not. now. I, I we're thought, in September. I initially thought the family emergency was with his mother because we know that she. I thought she, so too. I yeah, you know, too. You know, she, you know, she's fighting that c word that I don't like saying. Right. And, you know, Correct. Hopefully, all gets well with her. But that's what I initially thought. What yeah. was the family emergency? Well, but when we saw his when we saw his interview, it didn't. I mean, he wasn't. I wouldn't say somber. He wasn't like you know. It, you know how you would talk if it was a family member that was sick. He'd probably be. He just. He sounded more like I got personal issues. Everybody has them. Deal with it. Like that's what it sounded more like. So I would but be more inclined to believe. Basically, this is forty five. This is what forty five looks like when you're in a relationship. They've been married for so many years, and you're not ready to retire. <laughs> I mean, right. curse. Shit happens. <laughs> And, much. That, and it is indeed what happens. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, on to other hot topics. I know for the betters out there, they had a great time in the first and second round for Miss Serena Williams. We saw Serena wear the 400 handset diamonds in her shoes at the U.S. Open. She hit the round one with the win, came back yesterday. Got the round two win uh, versus number two. I don't even know how to pronounce their name. You know, Conavit, Conavit, Contavit. Listen, Serena's doing it. Um, she won in three sets yesterday. It was a great game. We kind of a great match. We kind of had to catch the end of it during the Aces game yesterday, um, but that was amazing. And then, of course, today. Her and her sister, who have been doubles uh, doubles teammates for such a long time, also competed in doubles. They were not successful, though, and they did um, lose in, in, in two yeah. sets. Yeah. Yeah. So what so, are we talking about here? Are we talking about the prediction of her taking it all, or are we talking about what round? Well, she, she was at plus. She was a plus two fifteen yesterday to win. So people came up money wise if they bet on Serena. People were betting on Serena to begin with. She would think was a forty to one and went to like fourteen to one to win the whole thing. 
She plays a third round tomorrow at 4 p.m. Goes against a number like 46 girl from Australia. So and she never played it before. We, yeah, she how never do played we feel before. Yeah. about Serena getting through this and getting one last U.S. Open and in her final um, hoorah, mm -hmm. let's say? Oh me? Yeah, I love what it. You feeling? I love. I love it. I love it. I'm I'm glued I'm glued to the scene. Like this, like it's perfect that this shit happened because I'm on vacation from work. So I'm able to really, really, really tune in and watch. I don't have to be in a room cleaning and try to find a remote and find ESPN. Nah, I can literally sit in my reclining chair, which I'm doing right now. Shout out to Chris Wynn. Watching it. I'm right. I'm 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 definitely enjoying it. And <laughs> I've actually I don't have a win at all. I, I honestly don't have a win at all, but I do have a getting at least to the quarterfinals, at least to that. Because okay. I feel like at this, I feel like at this stage in her career, the age is the age factor has kicked in. And then the key thing is these young girls that's here now, the mystique that was Serena before, as far as the fear factor, nobody fears her no more. No, no one. No one fears her no more. So I think those two things might prevent her from winning. But like she said yesterday, she don't have nothing to prove. She ain't got nothing to lose. She's sitting on house money. So even if she was the win, my ass is still going to be rooting for her. Like, we know she can go. I don't give a damn if she don't break the major record. She's still the GOAT. So, again, like she said, she ain't got nothing to lose. She got nothing to lose. Can she beat Coco Golf? Huh? Can she beat Coco Golf? Yo, listen, Mo. When we Shout done with this, Wim, I'm, going to, in too. I'm going to get on my knees and pray that that match happens because I I, I would love to see it. She already, yeah. I think Coco, I think she played Venus twice. Yeah, beat her twice. Yeah, and I know they had like a, they had like some charity event at the Fed Cup where she was on Serena's team. She never played Serena, and what's so crazy is I was kind of hoping that they would probably meet in the doubles, but both of them lost. Coco lost earlier too, but they got robbed. But that's a story right. for another day. But <laughs> I, I I would love to see Coco and Serena just dance it out. Like that I think that will probably put a tear to my eye, honestly. I would yeah, I would I, 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 would, I, I, would, I would love to see them. Because we already seen too. Serena and Naomi. We've seen that already. Right. We've seen Naomi and Coco. We've never seen Coco and Serena. I know. That's what I'm. That's what I'm wanting to see. Yeah. That's what I'm wanting to see. I want to see that. And if Coco wins, I can't be mad at that. If Serena wins, hey, Me that's the ultimate thing. Because my thing is, who don't want to lose to Serena Williams of all people? It's like, oh, I took an L. Hello. But it was yeah. from Serena Williams. It I was mean, to Serena Williams. Yeah. There's no excuse <laughs> for that. And shout out to everybody that tweeted, including myself, that were saying if she doesn't make round two, I'm Sydney Colson tweeted that if she doesn't make round two, I'm going to be, if she makes round two, I'm going to be going door to door to as a Jehovah's Witness to everybody. <laughs> Jamel Hill tweeted, if she makes round two, I'm going to, I need to see Beyonce do the post-game interview, post-match uh, interview. <laughs> I told my mom, if she makes round two, I will go to your house and in the middle of the street start, pull out a boombox, start breakdancing. This has happened where I was not expecting it. Like, I Were you in the streets at your mom's house, boomboxing? I didn't go over there. They went out. They they left. They took wheels up. But I guess it is 111 degrees. I mean, I guess I'd have to listen. Take it's hot. It. But the Wait. thing is, is, the no one knew that it was gonna be that. There was a lot of naysayers, and I was no. one of those people like, man, this is it. You know, she's been getting whooped on. Like, I don't right. want to see her go out like this, but. I'm really enjoying it. You know what I mean? Well, love, Chris I, makes a good point. It's not only that, but you're also seeing all these people that are coming out to see Serena that maybe weren't seeing her before. The stands were packed with celebrities during that round two, uh, as well as the round one. And they couldn't get the celebrities I'm, right. They were seeing oh! <laughs> Did you see the, what is it, what is it for Beyonce? So was Warwick is the queen of petty, and she is my <laughs> idol. And she is, I am her, and she is me. You're going to post a picture on your Instagram of Gladys Knight saying Throwback Thursdays when I was a child. Stop. You are, you are mistaking Gladys Knight. I mean, mistaking Dionne Warwick for Gladys Knight. Clearly, the two women don't look like each other. Right. No, they but don't. The fact no. that they said that is always added to the other times that you and I, Dre, look like somebody. 
You and I look like I dropped my I, I dropped my water when I heard that. I'm like, no, she did yes. not. Yes. I they said, said what's, that, the, what's her name? Who? The Laverne or someone that they thought was Beyonce with her mask on and stuff. Yes, yes. I mean, a news reporter telling Samuel Jackson, how you like doing the halftime commercials for the NFL? He's like, you're talking about the other guy. I'm, you know, so it's, it's, you know what it is, Dre. You know what it is. Dre, you know what it is. I'm not even about to be, keep venting about this, but you know what they it is. They get the auntie bunker You know, it's award. always the, like, oh, you know who you look like? Or, oh, you know, I thought that was so, no. Get it right. We're not looking the same out here in these streets. Come on. <laughs> mm. Nasty work. Nasty work. Nasty work. And the crazy thing is, Gladys was there too. Oh, she was. And she looks and she looks great in her pictures that we saw. Absolutely. Her. Absolutely. But the two do not look nothing like. <laughs> Dion Warwick did put out a nice tweet. You know, she is a queen of petty, but she had class and she held her own Twitter when <laughs> was going viral with it. We loved it. We loved to see it. And, uh, <sighs> you know, but the throwback picture of her on her Instagram was even better. So she's right. rolling with it, but it's just a crazy, crazy mix up again of two women yeah. that think they saw Gladys Knight. Maybe they did see Gladys Knight and meant to say Dion Warwick. I, I don't know. The crazy somebody was back to that clearly the camera panned Dion. <laughs> That's where I'm waiting. To, I'm waiting to see who they're gonna get confused tomorrow. You know, oh, it'll yeah. probably be somebody. Oh, easily, easily. <sighs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, you'll be able to check out Serena tomorrow, four o'clock on the West Coast here, seven o'clock out there for you guys on the East Coast. Um, we'll see how she does for round three. You know. Come on, Serena. Come yeah, on. Yeah, she come doesn't on, win this, on. and I'll be like, okay. But if on, I, Serena, I want her to keep on. going now after round two. I really want her to. But it's, all, it's home, so Serena. funny. The underdog in this whole thing is Serena. That is the underdog. The one that we least, you know, some people least expect. I know I did. I was like, oh no, she ain't making round two now. Right. Yeah, you was on she this. Did. You should have just gave it up. Just let it go. You was on top. You should. You should always yeah. want to end your career yeah. on a high. You never want uh -huh. to get sunned or embarrassed for the sake of trying to keeping it alive. Keeping it right. alive. No. You yeah. did that, sis, and no one can come. No one ever is going to come check you for your things. No, that's like you in the interview. Seats, they were like, can you? In the interview, I think the lady said, "All right, can you even believe, you know, how this is happening for you?" And she goes, "Well, yes, I'm Serena. I am Serena. <laughs> I, mean, I am Serena. So. I am Serena. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the arrogance of her, but I love it. The mm -hmm. PC, yeah, I loved it. She has it rightfully so. I mean, the PC way of saying, "Bitch, you know who the hell I am." <laughs> right. Basically. Did Basically. you forget my name? You know who I'm here, right? Yeah. Basically. Um, you know? So uh, for Hugador, you know, I got a Hugador. We talked, we've heard about him. It happened, came the, came down the pipeline uh, last week. We've got the former kicker for the Bills, Matt Azar Ariza. So I found a little bit more because I wasn't sure what it all happened. But this, I thought this happened like a couple of years ago when he was at San Diego State. This actually happened at a Halloween party last year in 2021 where he was accused of gang rape mm. two other gentlemen um a girl that was 17 she was in high school and she came to a college party off off of campus apparently they reported it right then and san diego state police had asked the college not to perform an investigation while they completed theirs the san diego state's investigation lasted up until august when they finished their investigation and that's when they handed, handed it over to the da's office who had just filed those um, charges against him, the civil suit with uh, the, and the civil suit that she had put against him. So, which then leading to two days later being um, removed from the bills, released. Well, he needs to be cut from the team anyway. I mean, this is just oh. egregious, and this is another sex crime. And you all know, as we yeah. watch Law and Order SVUs and see this in real time, stuff is crazy <laughs> and it exists, especially on colleges. That is probably especially college that campuses more than often. And um, his chickens have come home to roost if it's true. And it's just that's just bad. It's just egregious. Like it's terrible. How can you show your face doing some crazy stuff like this? But people walk around doing that. And I mean, yeah, college is notorious for the gang rape act, like without it being called that. and sweeping so, it under the table, too. Yeah, They're good for those, or too. So it, rug, I'm glad this has that. come about. I, yeah. I hope to see that, it, you know, it does have some kind of we get resolution till we hear what right. happens with it. Because, yeah, he's it's done right. for. He's done for. He is Facts. done. Yeah, that's true. Facts. Yeah. 
All right, uh, let's get into our WNBA action. I know, Dre, I, I met up with you. We did like a little pre-WNBA on our thoughts and feelings on how the season was going. Um, I don't know about yeah. you. Uh, I know for me, the dreams completely surprised me this season. I had them kind of on the lower end of the chain when we before we, the season started. And, of course, we knew about Aces and Sky and Storm. But then Mercury, too, all these injuries that led for them to not be uh, very and with active. Brittany. And, and with Brittany. Brittany. And with Brittany, so, you know. <laughs> Any other surprises or shocks for you now that we're getting close to the end here? The wings. The wings. Yeah. The wings. Back, got it. He was Here. actually Vicky Johnson. I had did a, 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 my last episode, Sports River Trading Podcast. I did. I gave my awards out for who I felt should win which awards. I love Becky Hammond. Y'all know that. Already. I love me some Becky Hammond. But me personally, I felt Vicky Johnson should have won it because of what she did with Dallas. Because when the season first started, if you was to ask anybody, the top eight team that was going to the playoffs, nobody was picking Dallas. So the fact that they was able to get to the playoffs and at least get a win in that series with Connecticut, even though you know, these awards for the regular season, for her to be able to get them to the playoffs when nobody expected them to get there, I would have gave it to her. But, again, I love Becky. They was the best team all season. They was either one or two tussling with um Chicago. So I'm not mad. I'm not I'm not mad if Becky wound up winning it. But for me, I have Vicky Johnson. But, again, I love me some Becky Hammond, so I'm not mad that she won it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we'll, uh, you know, during yesterday's uh, game, they did uh, obviously give up the awards for Becky, uh, Defensive Player of the uh, Year award to Asia, and then, of course, the most improved to Jackie. I felt like we all kind of felt that Jackie one was happening. You know, my question is now with uh, Asia's Defensive Player of the Year, we know there's still the MVP that's being that's out there. They announced earlier the sixth player of the year, which was Brianna Jones from The Sun, which I think also was well-deserved. Um, that was my choice, too. We got MVP coming though, and right now we're seeing the Seattle Storm and the Aces go at it. And let me tell you, it's like the it's the Stewie and Asia show. Yesterday's game was a battle, a battle a between thing, the two. A thing of beauty, a thing of beauty. I'm Did loving. anybody say it's like Magic and Bird? I saw someone reference that, yeah. and I was like. What? I feel like that's a stretch. But for the WNBA, I'll take it. Yeah, they did get I'll Chippy take on the it. Court. I'll take yeah. that shit. Because they did get Chippy on the court in the game. They got real night. chippy. And yeah. Brianna, I mean, Brianna was dishing some elbows out there in a major way. Her and Tina Charles went in hard on uh, Asia a few times down low. There was fouls that weren't being called. There was fouls that were called. I mean, it was just very physical. Um, it's going to be interesting how this goes It was goes good to play, to play action, that's for sure. And it was good to see uh, Asia Wilson get into her bag of why she's the MVP from previous seasons and why she is yeah. who she is and why she needs to be DPOY because of the simple fact that game one, she was a no-show. Yeah. And they were talking about how yeah. Becky Hammond was saying to her how she said, well, I don't want to be the ball hog. And Becky Hammond was telling her, but you are the leader of you this are. team. You've you got to, if they happen. facilitate the ball to you, you got to make it happen. It's not about what they think of you or you're thinking. You got to be that general on the floor. Yeah. And I think that resonated with her enough where she's comfortable because what we're noticing in late season for Asia is something gets into her head where she does not elevate her competitive edge. And now I'm seeing that she's she's able to do that. Like, she's got to do that. We don't have an option. Well, and I, I, I think Bianca also... Hamby. We don't I feel like Hamby, so you got to step into a role of doing a double big work. Like we don't have her. We don't know when that's going to happen, where she does come on court for us and what that dynamic looks like. We need her because that's a, that that would be the next element of why we would be struggling so hard with this storm if we had her on the court, that extra body. But we don't have her. So for that, Asia got to Asia got to do Asia and get big. She really got to go big and get big. 
And she so got a matchup with Stewie. I like seeing the matchup of the two of them. You can't be guarding I love you guard when you got Brianna Stewart it. on the court. I need you right in her face. But that's the thing is that you can't leave Jackie or Ch Chelsea to be guarding Tina Charles either. Like, you got to realize you got Tina and Brianna that have to be guarding. And you can't have in a small lineup like ours. We have no one else to really guard another bitch. You got to have Ila, Ileana Rupert or you got to have Kia Stokes. You need to have two bigs out right, on the Right, but we know, we know them two aren't going to be out in the game 24-7 either. I mean, we saw we see the minutes. I have the box scores that I, I put, I'm going to put up in a second too. I think, yeah, we would prefer Asia against Brianna, but there's going to be times where there's just no option because you're not going to I mean, see Tina options, Williams against Tina Charles. Get, if, 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 you can, if, if it's Tina Charles and you say it would take Ileana Rupert to her, you have her get banged up. Take the foul. Somebody got to take an L in the game. It can't be Asia getting in foul trouble on Stewie, but it can be Ileana or somebody on a switch up. It needs to be a two big, three little. I, I don't have a problem with that. She's got enough depth like in her bench to make that happen. Like you cannot double, and I like Stokes too. Yeah, she's been she's gone she's been she's been doing a lot for the team too, defensively yeah, rebounds. Absolutely. Chris said, yeah, and Chris said that they you know Storm got what they want. It's a split. We're going back to Seattle. They've already up one, basically going yeah. back home. So we're gonna see how this works for them. Yeah, definitely. But, um, Do you think there'll be a I, game five? I think there's I'm gonna be a game five. It's a game five. See, I'm, I'm ready to sleep. I don't five. want no game five. I'm ready to knock this out, rest, I do. get Dierica back, and let's see if we face these guys. Well, That's the thing I is, I feel I feel like Dierica could be back because she already she suited up uh, for Wednesday's game. She didn't play. I think that was a good call, but she was suited. That she was on a they were a, a doubtful list, you know. So we'll see what happens for Sunday or Tuesday's game. We know if, of course, if she travels with the team, I think she would be. Um, I don't. Uh, Here's the deal. It depends. I, sweep, I think I game one rocked us. Game run rocked us. I think Asia wasn't ready to get triple teamed at times. And I think she was able to change that. They were able to practice through that and have yeah. plays to get her through those times. But they are triple teaming her. And she was ready. That's, she had eight points on Sunday. Like it was minuscule for her, you know? I hope both series go five games. <laughs> I ain't even gonna hold you. I hope both. I you hope both you, go end, you don't want it to end. I'm, I'm ready for them to sweep these girls. So on paper, these aces could sweep them. Looking at the roster on paper, it's like I feel like it could be a sweep. Well, if anything, a sweep. Well, I, if anything, hmm? well, not if anything, not to cut your wisdom. The guy that just said that the ace that Storm got what they wanted. If anything, the aces got what they wanted because I believe. I believe they own Seattle and Seattle. They do. That's what I'm saying. I feel like it could be a sweep. I feel like it could be. But playoff Seattle is a totally different animal. Yeah. Yeah. Lloyd, let me tell you something. Yes. Drew Lloyd, yes, Drew Lloyd is making noise. They are different. And they better be thankful Drew Lloyd, Lloyd didn't they have a game dance before. They on Tuesday. Uh, before. They've won something before. Our aces haven't even been to a champ haven't won a championship. These girls have been to this dance before. They know. Oh, yes, they battle tested. Yeah, yeah, they, they are yeah, yeah. tested for all sure. Day. All day. And trust and so. believe. And trust and believe. This lady I have on here. Now, first of all, I did this to troll y'all. But I do have the Aces winning this series. I, I actually have them winning in four. Hey, but, listen, you ain't hurting my feelings with Sue Bird. That woman has the highest assist in a doggone playoff game. <laughs> like, listen, if you're 42 years old, I, goats recognize what goats are. I can't. I can't. I love me. She do it. She do it. What do you, you got? I, I love me. She's too bad that the girl ain't even shooting if she's leaving in the fist with no turnovers in a game. Stop it. Stop playing with me right now. But trust and, but trust and believe. But, but trust and believe. Them girls in Seattle was not trying to have her lose. These no, last not with her coming out of retirement. They not. not. They no, not. not at all. The narrative is fun for her to win this. Well, and you also got possible return. sold out arenas too. I mean, if you can get Climate Pledge Arena to be sold out again, like that's a whole other level too. Seattle fans ain't playing. You saw how many traveled down to Las Vegas. They had a whole. Oh session. yeah, they win. So, <clears throat> but I want well, to put up two sold out crowd in her last game before. But this yeah, is like I said, yeah. for the playoff look. So these so. are the stat. These are the stats. Uh, the box scores from when from yesterday's game. I mean, obviously, I think the Seattle's team was fairly about the same, except for Jewel Lloyd had a bigger impact on um, on Sunday. Brianna was a little less, but for the ladies, uh, you can't even see that there, huh? Can you? But um, you know, Asia. Didn't, but look at you. We have a whole bench here that has no action. I mean, Rakina Williams put in minutes. She had 26 minutes. She really helped with the rebound. She had eight boards. 
But how are we going to go up against? But how are we going to like, for instance, how are we going to go up against a Chicago Sky team that's putting in their whole bench, or a Suns team where their bench is putting up good numbers for them too? Speaking of numbers, let's talk about Candace Parker and her numbers last night. Yeah, let's talk about her. Let's talk about her real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She's a problem. Let's talk about her. Problem. You know, that's why I say I need the Aces to go ahead and sweep these girls because we know that Sky is coming. And we need to rest and we need to practice and we need to. I don't want it to go five on our end. They can go five and run low, but I don't want our girls going five and running low. So you I clearly got so you clearly got the sky beating the sun. Like you have oh, clearly, no clear as day. And Candace Parker's number. I was surprised as hell that they actually got that first game. I couldn't believe the sky lost that first game. If the sky wins game three, it's over in four. It is. It's, it's and, I, and I don't want that sweep from the I don't want us to be stretched long with this Seattle team. I really don't. I don't. Because you got the reigning champs knocking on our door. And I'm and sure they're looking at Kansas. Like said, numbers, okay, right? We can take it. I know we can. They just gotta do that work. And I feel like Becky needs to play that bench more. I think when people get when her bench players come out, they come out hot. We need points, we right. need shots. They can make those shots. And we need to get it. We need more. They need a little bit more rotation, at least giving they a minute break here rotation. and there. I mean, I know you can't play the whole bench at a time. I know you still got to keep, you know, the hot people in there, but there's going to need one or two. And like, you know, even like we see now is like when we're a small team, we're going to have to get those post players in there, even like whether it be Ileana or Kia Stokes or even TP. People got to get in there as big bodies just to be able to put up a couple minutes. Exactly, because you can't really play small ball with Seattle when they got a whole bunch of bigs. You just can't play small like that. And that's no. why I say if you have to put Ileana in or if you got to put Kia in, you make it a big three on two. That's what you got to do. But you can't go small when they go big. <sighs> and Coco, yeah. Coco uh, over there in Chicago, he ready for us. They playing for the next to be to, to play us. They already in their mind saying, no, we know we got the sun. We playing to play Aces or whoever come out of that other come out of this thing. I mean, I think it's only fitting that it's those two teams because let's be real, yeah. they've been the best. They've been the best two teams all season. They Absolutely. played each other in the Commissioner's Cup Championship. So it's yeah. only right that those two teams be the teams that dug it out and dance for the finals. And Coco I'm Wade, you ready? I'm waiting to see Coco Wade turn up on that bench. I'm ready for him to get stressed. <laughs> 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 I would love it because... And say some slick stuff so he can get teed and tossed out. Like, I'm ready right. to let that be in action. I would love it because two of my favorite players are going to be in Candace and Asia, so I'm with it. Yeah. I'm with it. We I'm know you too. love your Candace. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Come on, well, I will. Come on now. Last night, I'm telling you. I was like, Jesus. Listen, I just want to say a big shout Damn. out to WNBA fans out there because between Sunday, the Ace is having like a sold out crowd. Wednesday, this both the games for the Sky were at 9,000 or more, between 9,000 and 9,800 fans. So we're getting to close to 10,000 fans for these games for the WNBA. I think that's something to be applauded. And oh, absolutely. Right now too. Especially yeah. in a 12,000 arena. Like, it's dope. Yep. And then the other night was sold out. So I love that. Yeah, it's big. I'm going to show a video of just the fans that we had here just because, you know, whether it be 9,000 or 10, like – it, it's incredible to hear them all go at once, even with the little Seattle squad over there on the corner. Like it was just an amazing, amazing as time to see, you know, the whole second level being full, all the first level, all the yeah, people they behind you, you all that stuff. Yeah. You know, like I had to zoom in to get that second section because, I mean, you really don't notice until you start seeing the people. And this right. is it's an amazing environment. Uh, shout out to Miss Ballandy, who was who's, who's by us there. Yeah, great attendance. Yes, great attendance. Shout out, Miss Ballandy. Shout out to Kinte, who's in the who's in the chat too. Um, you know, it's definitely going to be interesting when it goes back to that. Seattle. Yeah, it's oh, that, crowd is, that crowd in Seattle is going to be bananas. It is. It's going to be wicked over there. 
Man, listen, I'm not gonna Minnesota lie. Minnesota. I was checking, I was checking to go see maybe catch like a Sunday or the or the Tuesday game. But I tell you right now, I think Vegas fans may be going out there because them flights are like close to five hundred dollars. And that's on like Frontier Spirit. Like from Vegas hey. to Seattle for just two days, either Sunday or Tuesday. Them tickets is high, high right now. Wow. Flights is high already, but I mean this is probably even higher. I mean, but, you know, usually when I go to Seattle, it's like a couple hundred dollars round trip, period. And I, you know, I just did that not too long ago. But for this, I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh, yeah, I don't, that one, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Looks like you're getting in the van with the pups, driving on up there, road trip. Just Labor Day Man, weekend, no more. Well. <laughs> we might get as well. on the road trips. Might as well. Sure. I ain't driving through no desert in the middle of August, September when it's 110 degrees in the city, let alone what it's probably like in the middle of, of yeah, Utah or Idaho, you know? Nah, you. I'm good. But yeah, it's going to be great. <laughs> I can't wait for Sunday. I welcome it. Uh, I don't know whose pool I got to sit in while I'm watching it, but I got to be somewhere cool and watch this Tax. thing. And uh, I know they're having shout out to the Aces and who songs up in uh, Boca Park because they are having yeah. just a watch party there at Who Songs Mexican restaurant, the one in Boca Park. Hey, listen, I there. just had tacos there and they got these chicken tacos with pineapple in it. Ooh. I almost. I know that was amazing. Woo! <laughs> It was, was good. Amazing. It was good. It was good. It's like a, a Hawaiian style taco. I don't know how that. Man, listen, sense, I was, it was so good. I might have to go over there just to give me That's give me. I never had. I love pineapple. I never had pineapple and taco before, and now now I'm ready. I want. I'm gonna have to go back probably and yeah. uh, see if what they got some taco specials. Oh, of course, that? all the time, twenty four seven. Okay, okay. I'm not eating pizza without pineapple. Period. But that's yeah, I like the pizza yeah. too. No, but some people like don't everything. like that. Yeah, I like I know. Food. Um, shout out to all our fans, Aces fans. And like I said, you guys can go check out the game, do a watch party with the Las Vegas yes. Aces group, I believe it is, is putting it on at uh -huh. Who Songs, Boca Park, that's off of Charleston and Rampart, uh, next to Tivoli Village up in the yep. west side of Vegas. Come check us out. Out there by Kona and Grimaldi's and Cheesecake yep, all that and good stuff. stuff. Yep. Yep. So yeah. go there to check it out. Stay cool, be inside, have some good tacos with pineapple on them, all that good stuff. Yes, yes. What's good, Arlington? Eight train in the house. What's up, I appreciate Arlington? you. Yes, you, uh, shout out to Natalie. She's uh, helping us collect some towels. <laughs> yeah, where's my towel at, Natalie? She got it. I text you. I asked you if you still needed it. She got it at her house. You I need good? my towel. You set up. You text me? I didn't even know you text me. Yeah, that was yesterday after the game. Oh, I didn't anyway. pay no attention. My bad. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and just a quick shout out, you know, BG still in Russia. We all want to uh, make sure hopefully she can get home soon, safe. There was some news on her shoe drive, of course. You know, she has uh, her nonprofit, um, BG's Hearts and Souls Shoe Drive. She started back in 2016 when she saw people there in Phoenix without shoes. And it's one thing if you're in Vegas. But you know people should not be wearing no shoes on this hot cement and pavement, whatever. Right. She saw that in Phoenix. Yeah. And so she right. saw that in Phoenix. And she going to, um, the team, the Mercury decided they were going to. Uh, <laughs> the, the, Tell the homie the we team, said what up. Yeah, what's up? Hey, homie. No, uh, said, what up, though? That's my nephew, my nephew. <laughs> he going he gonna to talk no, about nephew, the major league baseball nephew, with the... These are aunties. <laughs> But anyway, so BG, the Mercury, they helped her out. Um, they had a shoe drive for her this yesterday. They collected over 3,200 pairs of new and gently used shoes, as well as raised more than $27,000 wow, uh, to benefit the Phoenix Rescue Mission. This is more, they've received more of this drive than they've received in the whole four years combined than it's been around. I so, love that. Big shout out to the WNBA. Other teams that I know the Aces that took part of, I think everybody had a part in trying to help out, but um, it all kind of acclimated yesterday. And so that's what's still up. thinking of her. Yeah, definitely. Free Britney, free Britney, free Britney. Free Britney, <laughs> free man. Britney. For real. I, I was on one free Britney, now I got to jump on another free Britney. I thought we were over with the Britney. <laughs> Oh, you can't even, you can't even put them to Britney. Britney's together. can't win. Britney's can't <laughs> win, man. Like girl, Britney Spears couldn't win, and now BG can't win. Like Jesus, uh, mm, my Britney's mm, ain't mm. winning right now. Well, one, I need that other one winning though. 
That one means a lot yeah. to me. I need that. Yeah, one. yeah, 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 yeah. The, the one in Russia, we yeah, yeah. It means a lot, but the other one before before this one was going. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, 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 that, yeah, that one has. No yeah, one wants to be in a conservatorship. I could have a whole nother podcast about that stuff. That's crazy. Right. That's wild. I feel like this one's in prison too. So now we got one Brittany that just got out of prison, and now another one that we're trying to help get right. out of prison, literally. Right, Jesus. right, right. <laughs> I uh, wanted to move a little bit into Major League Baseball. Of course, we're getting towards that playoff push. You sure are. In September. Uh, most Dodgers, the first team to 90. Of course. You know, that I mean, of course. Thing, but you know, I never liked that. You know, I never liked that because we never went. I know you don't, but it's still record. something. I mean, it's still something, especially in this, you know, year. There's been a lot of. There was a lot of teams that were going hard, but then after the, unlike your team, after the All Star break, kind of all kind of. You know, yeah, I thought I was going to see downfall. the Yankees Dodgers series. I thought I was going to see a World Series with the Yankees in it, but that's not. Aaron Judge, Aaron Judge can have these 50 home runs or whatever race he's on right now. But it means or even like Otani, you know, yeah, he's playing with the Angels, but he's the first player in Major League Baseball to have 30 home runs and 10 winning games pitching. So, I mean, this guy already has been breaking records left and right and now just adds another one to it. And Pujols the didn't want to come back to them. <laughs> He decided, he said, I'm going to be a St. Louis Cardinal instead. I'm not coming back to, if I was going to do the Dodgers, I did my Dodgers. And then Cardinals done Lewis. jumped up three spots too, just, you it's, know. Yeah. Hello. But they, but, but this is nothing, but this is nothing new with them. Like they, they, like when it gets to this time, that's one, that's the one thing about them Cardinals. When they get to yeah, this time. Yeah, you got to watch out for them. Yeah, they get you got to watch out for them. They get mad dangerous. They get mad dangerous. Shout out to my well, and that's what's really shocking, you know, for time. my team is usually when it comes to August, we're done. Like, we've given up. It's over with. We're, we're left. But the Mariners, not only, you know, they gave Julio big money. They gave the rookie a fat, fat, fat check. This kid has the opportunity to make upwards of $470 million basically over the course of between 12 and 17 years, just depending on options. Like, well, isn't that crazy how that baseball money is so long? Man, well, I wish I had sons that I could put in baseball. Care no, and you no, ain't got no yeah. real, real. And I mean, you don't got no like, crazy on, injuries. Like you might have like a rotator cup or. Come on, listen. Why and baseball? all that so money long. is guaranteed. Right. Guaranteed. And you can play until you're forty to be okay. You can play until you're forty is something and be okay. Yeah, Julio, oh, Julio, Julio got paid. I ain't mad, at, get that bag. I ain't mad either. <laughs> Me either. Me either. <laughs> I'm not mad at it at all. I can shout out to the Mariners who were on their way to their neck. I think they just left Detroit. We're heading to Cleveland. They had a football day. So you see the whole team got all their football jerseys on. You got Julio and the DK Metcalf. Somebody's there in the Rams jersey. You got a couple of Dolphins fans. None of them not all wear all Seattle Seahawks. No, because they they're not all they from Seattle, you know? They can't even they ain't all from their Seattle. Fam family. I mean, listen, if I went to go nah, play got for to a team, you gotta you rep, got to who rep your the team home is. team, though. You gotta yeah. rep the home you team. You gotta rep the home team. I you, got, know, you, got, you, you gotta rep the home yeah. team. I know, I think it would be different. I think it would be different if like Seattle was in the playoffs, they're all trying to rep them or vice versa. But it's just they went on a team and was like, hey, rep rep the NFL. Like I get it. I like, guess at this point, since Seattle ain't gonna do much, they listen. need to go ahead and just show their true colors. <laughs> Speaking of saying. Seattle, uh Russell Wilson um got his big, big payday that he wanted. He got a five year deal with the Broncos. $240 million contract extension um, with a guaranteed of $165 million. You know, I'm in some of these Seattle groups, and it was kind of hilarious what we were seeing because this is what we are seeing. One of them puts the Denver Bronco after it finishes paying Russell Wilson the $245 million. It just nice. And the second one was like, this is Russell in his third season under contract because this is the same type of thing that Seattle did with him first. When we gave him his big payday the first time, we had no money to do anything else with. So, good yeah. luck to you, Broncos and Broncos. And you can't be mad at him either for keeping it. He said, I ain't cutting out my money. <laughs> no, of team. course not. I'm dumb enough to pay that. me. I'm going to take my bread and go. <laughs> Jeez. What they expect? They don't like, got no, you know. You they think can't we gonna give our money back? Thing. We got reparations coming to us. You think you gonna we gonna give some of the money back? Y'all must be out of your mind. <laughs> Giving no money back. And on top um, of that, he married Sierra. 
You got to take care right. of her. Come, Come on, on you got to keep her. What, you got to keep her nice and lace. Come on. You know her it. Bangers, you, got... you know her little little circuit tours. Put a little twenty bands here, fifty bands. Right. There. No, mm -hmm. it's not. It's, it's not this. No, we got to keep her nice and right. Yeah, of course. And Chris, you know, and this is my thing is that he t he came to a division you, where Chris. he's going to be the bottom again. You know, not like below Vegas, not below Vegas though. You're wrong about that. Not below Vegas. He will be. Will be. He'll be the bottom. I mean, he'll we be below the Chargers, be the Chiefs, be below Vegas, us. and Chargers. You think the, the Chiefs are going to be above Vegas? I'm thinking I'm the Broncos thinking are below. I said. The Broncos are below everybody. I don't care between the other three. No, I'm the talking Broncos to Chris. I ain't talking to you, Melissa. I'm talking to Chris. You think that they are going to be just below? It's going to go Chargers, Vegas, Chiefs, then Broncos. They are not going to be just below us. No. Well, he Chargers are probably going to be the dominant one, then us, then Chiefs, and then Broncos. But it ain't going to be no Chargers, Chiefs, Vegas, and then uh, Broncos. No. You, you well, got y'all over he, the Chargers? He specified it. Huh? You got y'all over the Chargers? I, I know I don't have us over the Chargers. I have to be realistic about Justin Herbert and over there and Austin Eckler and all those guys. I have to be realistic. I can't be a delusional fan. I'd love us to be above the Chargers. I think our biggest competition in the AFC West is the Chargers, and that's our game one. So I can't say what we're going to do. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if we're going to be on top or we're going to – I can't say that, but I know Broncos ain't going to be under us. They're going to be under uh, Kansas City. Cause they got Tyreek Hill is gone, yeah. that brother gone. So th th there's no way he's gonna be. And listen, broke. Travis Kelsey ain't the same. He lost a girlfriend. Yeah. He got a he got like a trucker stash. I think is the done deal for for Travis Kelsey. And they well, I don't know about the girlfriend. That she lost. She lost. He lost her for sure because he's cheap. He, he got cheap. Chiefs, Chargers, Raiders, Broncos. Ah, no, nah, Chris. I thought we was cool, they lie. Until I see you in the hallway. <laughs> I thought we were cool. It's going to be a rumble in the hallway. I thought we were cool, Chris. Them games, them games for week one is... It's, it's, oh yeah, but we forgot Juju. Juju oh yeah, Juju is now Juju, back right. over there. Yeah, yeah, he's a chief yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Okay. They knew what they, they knew. He's gonna they have knew. a real quarterback throwing to him now. Like, yeah, yeah. All right. Ooh. We shall see. Okay. I just know we face the Chargers in SoFi Stadium. Away game. Listen, game AFC, one. the Week AFC one. West is a tie. It's like the it's, tough division it's, right it's now. It's rough. It's rough. That's a home game for y'all. There's more it's fans. For, there's more Raider fans there than the Chargers. So go ahead. Oh, absolutely. Oh, it's sure. a home game for us. Yeah, I don't even know why. I That's said a home game. game. That's a home game. game. Yeah. yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, I'm debating if I should go to that game. I really kind of want to, low key. Like, yeah. Good. Yeah, Check I out the stadium. Mm -hmm. I haven't checked out SoFi yet. I definitely want to yeah. do that. Yeah. Yeah. I think I might try and head and check one out there too. But yeah, I don't know. It's a good, it's a good look. Um so gotta Derek watch out Henry. Buffalo, though. Yeah. Yeah. Well <sighs> fantasy football is coming and I gotta start cramming for my drafts because I feel like I, I'm back in high school and I forgot there was like a test coming next week after a little holiday weekend and I gotta start preparing for drafts. Uh, shout out to everybody that's been already in a fantasy football draft. And for those that are drafting, if you've got tips, if you see any good information, feel free to share. I already um, drafted once. It was okay. It was, I, I got two trade. coming. Yeah. I oh, already. I got one. I, I got, I got well, one coming before. Not to put my brother's business out there, but I'm going to do it anyway. He has Josh <laughs> Allen and Justin Herbert, but he has no running. Oh. Back. He shot himself in the foot. And I grabbed How do you do that? late where I had Justin Fields and Tua. But Ooh. I have Nick Chubb and I have uh, Singletary from Buffalo. So okay. he wanted my Singletary. He wanted my Nick Chubb for his Buffalo defense. I think I got one of his other wide receivers and a and Justin Herbert. So I said, okay, okay. I'll take Justin. And you can have uh, just, uh, Justin Fields if you want. But I'd rather give him Tua, but that's okay. There's no here nor there. We'll flex him, whatever. I'm going to roll with Justin Herbert the whole way. But I still <laughs> am slated to lose even after this matchup, just by a smidge from one of my other coworkers. But that draft is a full draft of us. It was 12 of us drafting. 
It was the ugliest thing I'm sorry, ever. but yeah. how does your brother miss running backs? Like, running backs is a position you're supposed to be getting because off top because they'd be he, dying he, all he throughout did, the season. He went off for tight ends, wide receivers, and all of that first. Wow. Like, he got the best of the best. He got the best kicker okay. in the league, the kid out of Baltimore. He got a, a, a squad except for the running backs. The running backs were slated to five points and stuff. He drafted late on his running backs. He went for the quarterbacks. He went for so he, he and he won our draft last year. So I don't know why he he had his little okay. notes and everything ready. Well, maybe he got, he got he got he got he got his own way. He's trying to do it. Yeah, you know, he was come a get camp, so he knew what he was doing. But then he looked at his run, running back roster. He's like, oh my god, you got Nick Chubb. And I was like, I really don't want to give up these guys, Marcus. And then he wanted me to give up Hollywood Brown. I said, you must be nuts. I'm not giving up Hollywood Brown. You want to take my whole roster from me, for me just for Justin Herbert? I can't do that. So I'm already in the mix of all of this. And we've got two more drafts. I've got the Girl Chat Sports one for the ladies. Yes. And then I've got the paid money one. And the money one I really have to cram in on because right. I'm getting an educational lesson on what's what. But, yeah, it's about to get intense and it's about to get serious. So Shout out to Weeks in the in the chat. You know, Weeks, he hit me up and was like, hey, you want to join like a $250, $500, $1,000 fantasy football league? And I was like, Psh. What do I look like? No. <laughs> Man, that's big, but and see, that's when you're ready to flip over tables and fight. People. I'm like a thousand dollars. You think I would? I yeah, would that's be, expensive. Listen, that's pretty high. I'm not gonna just donate a thousand dollars to your league. I rather buy sneakers or whatever else. Pay off the. I mean, I ain't listen. That's a donation a for my thing. A thousand. Oh, I'm sorry. Now he says twenty five hundred is. Oh one come on, that's ridiculous. Who's he with? Merrill Lynch over there? Like, come on, that's crazy numbers. <laughs> I get it though, but that's people that you show up at their house and you ready to fight them. Like if you were to you know, sit in a room and a party, think about the them. money you making off of a twenty five hundred league. You know what I mean? Like that's money. I money. mean, you're making some good change, but just can you imagine sitting in a room at that draft party and they scoop your players that you want and you I, know it's twenty five hundred that you gave up? Or can you imagine? You night. imagine your running back gets hurt in the first season is out for the rest of the year, like. <laughs> We didn't even talk about that. And, and and not to mention, like, depending on who commissions that, they probably only leave you two IL spots and not four. Like, I'm at least generous in trying to give them a few IL spots. They These guys are rough out if here. If any IL spots, you might not get yeah, any. You might not get none. Yeah. Yeah, I never that. play with that. I can never play like that. I can't play like that. <clears throat> it's too hard. It's, yeah, it's it is. Too it's too competitive for that end. But, yeah. So, shout out to those that are into uh, the fantasy book. Listen, I can't, I can't even. <laughs> I need the job that he's got to make that to do that kind of thing. Just throw away right. five hundred dollars. So, last of the 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 big news, especially that dropped today, we finally found that Donovan Mitchell Spider got a land oh, yeah. spot in Cleveland. Give us your thoughts, Dre and Mo, because I know you guys are a little bit more in your basketball mind than I am currently. Um, thoughts on this trade and. All that Utah has right now as far as picks, just from the two trades they've given away between them and him and Gobert, like what, I think they said like 13 or 14 uh, draft picks throughout the next four or five years. Go ahead, Dre. Rebuild, rebuild, rebuild. That's that's, that's exactly what Utah is doing now. So that's one, that's, that's one playoff spot that's gone because they're not making the playoffs now. So any like who who is it? Sacramento now got a shot. Uh the Pelicans Denver. got a shot now. All those teams that didn't make the playoffs last year. Hell, even the Spurs might have a ch- might have a shot now because Utah not going. I just feel bad for the Knicks because it seems like yeah. every time they try to get a chance to get somebody, they just cannot get the job done. Right. They couldn't even get Donovan Mitchell. Sad. Yeah, you know, the, the Knicks fans is all over Twitter right now. Tight. Stephen A put out a tearful message. Like, he's oh, frustrated. I'm, I'm, yeah. Like, yeah, they tight about that. I reached out to my uh, – no one saw that trade coming, Miss Bobby. I know for I, a fact. I didn't I see it coming. I saw the alert on my phone, and we were just talking about Spider Mitchell for the NBA Fantasy League draft because I am doing an NBA Fantasy League. And I was just talking to somebody on the phone earlier today about, I don't know if I'm going to pick up Donovan Mitchell – and I, was, and I was, he, that's what they said. They were thinking about right. picking him up. And I'm like, I don't know. And I was like, I might have to grab him. And then the announcement came out. And I'm like, look at this. 
I'm like, Cleveland? I'm like, wow. Shout out to my boy Alex in Cleveland because you know I had to hit him up. I mean, but guess what? I know he, to get out of Salt Lake City, Utah, and go to Cleveland, like, that's just, I would I would be down for that move. I mean, Utah, I just don't see anybody how people like living in Salt Lake. I don't understand it whatsoever. Well, here's the thing. I mean, it's Utah, so we know what Utah do. Home of the Chick-fil-A's and everything else. Um, we Cleveland is a whole different animal. He's got a great core group of players that he's joining now. Yes, he does. They are going yes, to be, he does. They're going to be worse than what they were last season on the East. Like, <laughs> like they were already tough on the East. <laughs> they were already tough. Now they like super tough. Like it's gonna be, it's gonna be entertaining. I think the East needed this. The West, we got we got a good loaded depth of players for the West. Utah is definitely gonna be staying silent. They're like the Seahawks. It's on a rebuild thing. So we'll see what that happens. What that looks like. Um, but I'm gonna let man, that one slide. Shout out to my boy Alex and the rest of those Queens fans because they're beside themselves. He's out there galloping and ready to throw a parade because they're so happy. I said, I know you ecstatic out there about this announcement because if I had him for the Lakers, I'd be ecstatic, but we know that's never gonna happen. But to go to Cleveland from New York, we thought New York, no, nah, that's a shocker. Question, mm-hmm. question, um, how much, how, how much LeBron got on that contract with the Lakers? Too damn much. No, no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm talking about the years. Oh, uh, uh I think two? He's got one more, two, one more. I think he's one more in. Maybe two because of Bronny. But that's not going to happen. Yeah, but us. he might pick up and go with Bronny and Bryce and be somewhere like Cleveland in like four no, years. That's, gonna that's, say, my that that, Mel, that's, that's my point. Mel, that's my point. That's my point. That's exactly why. That's that exactly why. That may be a thing, but Cleveland don't want him and Cleveland don't need him. But I understand the marketing game and money game for that because that's going to be a total seat filler and the ticket revenues and sales and merch and all that's going to go through the roof. Not to mention you know advertising it. and networking and all that kind of stuff of us being on TV. It's going to be amazing. But then you're taking out all these other players that they have, that they already have. They already got a four squad together. Let that man just stay in L.A. and let me be miserable because that's what it's just going to be. You know what I mean? Shout out to Donnell. That's up, Goose. We got two years. Two years. Yeah, yeah. Two years. Yeah, yeah. Two. Okay. Yeah, I'm over it. Like, I'm going on FMLA with the Lakers. I mean, I know know, we got Laker fans (laughs) that want to do it, but I'm on FMLA with them until they can get it right and tight. Because this whole oh my hand after the Lakers fan. Patrick Beverly thing, I was never happy with. I'm not excited about that. Him and Russell. You not? No, why? Nah, yeah, no, no. Pat Beverly, nah. he's a bulldog scrapper, but who's going to give him the ball? You think LeBron's going to give him the ball? If AD is a healthy AD, you think he's going to get the ball? This is the problem when the two of them on the court, they don't give balls. So what's the point? What are we talking Ain't about? Ain't nobody passing to him. He just going to be getting rebounds and getting he's, only points he's scoring is he if he gets a steal. He's going to be a very steal. good scrappy defensive player and get on people's nerves, but he and Russell That's Westbrook all you need him for. You don't, you, you don't need him to score. You need, need him to scores. score, need though. He's going to want to score. We need more <laughs> scores than, than anything else in the world. We need shooters. We don't need well, to be in this space that we were last shooters. year. That's for damn I'm sure. not happy about it. You guys keep recycling these relics and names of has bins and we ain't got no young Tito's to run the court. We got rid of all our young players. Look what look what Memphis is doing. Look what they're doing. Look what Boston is doing. Who? All youngsters. Who, who mm. we got? Players of Christmas past. Come on. Who? This is ridiculous. Mo hurt. They fill in the seats because it's LeBron. You know, it's LeBron. Damn. It's LeBron. He's gonna fill the. It's seat. LeBron's that Lakers. That's how it goes. I ain't. I ain't happy about this. No, not one bit. And there's other Laker fans that can agree with me. We didn't like this Patrick Beverly move. We don't know what that's gonna bring. They talking about Buddy Healed and all this. Stop it. Stop it. It's gonna it definitely going be interesting to, to see so. what what yes. comes out of like uh, practices in the beginning of camp to see how these. You <laughs> I want to see what Darvin <laughs> Ham's gonna do and what what you call it, Latrell Sprewell can do. I want to see what he can actually do to coach up these guys. I really want to see what those conversations are looking like. Can you really, Darvin Ham, talk to a LeBron James and tell him what some of the problems are or tell him what his problem is? I don't think so. Time will tell. I mean, coming from, I mean, coming from, I mean, from Latrell, like, though. I'm stressed out, invested in these Lakers. I'm going to sit back, like, just a spectator, watch, and just not have no reaction. Like, hey, that's what it is. 
Everybody tried to shoot me in the foot saying, oh, Lakers getting Russell Westbrook just because they about to be the bomb. And I was the only one that said this is not going to work. And guess what? It did not work. Because I, this is the funny thing, too, and I hate to keep ranting, but it's so funny to me, and I'm not even trying to be gender specific, but men are a trip. Men, you guys look at just the optics and the illusion and the fancy. Women, we look at everything. That's why we can catch y'all in lies and catch y'all in this stuff because we look at every, we're not just looking at the surface, we're digging deep. I'm looking all into you and the details. We pay attention to everything. You guys just glance at stuff and say, oh, I watched it. No, you didn't. Because if you watched it, you would have seen this, 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 and this, and this is what women do. So when I see these players and I'm watching the game, I'm literally in the game looking and looking at things that probably people are not paying attention to you can kind of get a sense of what I'm trying to say of how this game plan is going. So I don't know. We'll see. Time will tell. I, I'm not happy about it. I wasn't happy about Patrick Beverly. It was kind of like, eh, I don't, I don't care that we have him. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. But we'll see. Right. I mean, we'll see. I'm just not, I'm not excited about that. And Goose talking about uh, the targeting rule in college football. To be honest, the big weekend for college football. I know it started last week, but it was a few games. Shout out to Weeks. He talked to me about college football a little bit today as well. Big time it started today. There was like 10 games a day. It's going all through this weekend. College football is back. I have yet to see or uh, watch a game yet fully for college football this season. So we'll see how that goes. I'll be checking in on some games this weekend, hopefully by the pool as well. We'll see how that goes. I haven't checked. Have you seen the the targeting rule, uh, Dre? You know anything about it? I'm just, I, I'm just now hearing about it, so I'm gonna have uh, to. Yeah, I haven't watched. You know, what is that? that? What out. is that all about? Because I don't really watch college football like that. I'm not into it. I believe it's on the um, the hit from targeting. Oh, okay. I could be wrong. <laughs> I don't. Like I said, I'm watching the games to figure out what they're. Uh, maybe if Donnell's still on, he'll 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 type it in oh, there for okay. us, but. Anyways, uh, Kente wants to rant to me about his Warriors. We get you. We get you. Golden yeah, State yeah, in the there. We hear fire. you. We get it. Y'all, y'all drop the bubble. We got Juan Toscano. We took your Juan Toscano. Lakers got GP him. out of there too. Yeah. Oh yes, Chris, the UNLV football team. I think surprised oh, the yes. entire state of Nevada this weekend on Saturday. Mind you, they played Idaho State. But they did have like a ginormous win. It was like what fifty-one to twenty something at Allegiant oh, Stadium, the first game for them home. Listen, UNLV has had their troubles, and I've talked plenty of mess about this team. But they, they I mean, my whole thread was like people saying, "Wait, is this the real score? Wait, this really UNLV score right now?" Yes, these guys came through and really had a field day on Saturday. So you know what it is. This thing, huh? You know what it is. You know why? No, I don't. They had a new stadium to play in. They got. They had it last out. year. They had the stadium last year too. They they got a stadium now where there's no vaccine and vaccinated, whatever the case may be. You got more fans I mean, showing up. And they had around they had more. They were able to have non-vaccinated fans last year oh, where the Raiders they couldn't. They were. I Something think that happened. Raider thing, that stadium is now putting it, sinking into them that they're actually here and not Sam Boyd. They probably had that Sam Boyd mentality last season, and now they got a Legion mentality. But they balled out. <laughs> that was a double dose weekend. I mean, we had yes. the preseason game, the last week of preseason, and then had that followed by that. Yeah, that was a high score. What's Reno looking uh, like? Yeah. Huh? What? What's Reno looking like? I, I don't pay attention to Reno. Yeah. I don't know. I'm asking for anybody out there in the chat if Donnell is still oh, on there or whatever. Look it. That's that's not my team. My Huskies start on Saturday. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, Donnell talked that. about the targeting. Um, it's basically, you know, like I said, stopping people from making plays. So you, you're not, you're, you're kind of scared to make plays because you're targeting. It's a, trying to keep the game safe. Thanks to Donetta and uh, Donnell for that one. But, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. You know, trying to keep you from target, you know, from hitting certain areas, from playing too hard, from making contact in certain ways. At this uh, point, you might as well start playing flag football. I know. They don't want these kids to get hurt, though, and concussed. I get it. It's kids. I'll say that for the kids, but the pro stuff, I don't know what they're going to do with the um, for the NFL, though, when it comes to their little situation with their all star weekend. Like that stuff needs to, they need to figure out. They need to just let the pro go. They go. need to let that go. Yeah, let, let, that go. That. Let, let that go. Let that go. 
These yeah, last few yeah. years have been. I don't know what they they're going to have it here again season. next they year. They got the go. Pro Bowl here again next year, too. Oh, Pro Bowls? Yeah. Well, they need are to they, figure they, it are out. They already announced that they're doing it. Yeah, Pro Bowl is going to be here as well as the um, the Super Bowl. Super Bowl next year, right? Mm. Yeah, 2023. Not this year, but, but next year, the 2024. 2024. Oh, okay. Where is it at this year? It's in you Arizona this year. No, cause, well, technically, it's the season of 23 24, but it's going to be in you. February of 2024. Whereas, like, February okay. 2023 is going to be in Phoenix, it's in Arizona this year. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Also, yeah. for all my Vegas locals, the links are up for the Formula One racing. If you want to get on the list to get the Formula One racing ticket, it's a seven dollar donation, it puts you on a list. Uh, hopefully you get the ticket or not, but the seven dollars puts you on the on the in the queue. So when the tickets right. are released, you have a chance to get the tickets to go watch the Formula One race that's going to happen on the strip later on this year. So I wanted to throw that out there. <laughs> yeah. So you're getting props over here in Vegas. The the solid take of the day is they need to let the Pro Bowl go. <laughs> yeah, it is. They do. They right? did not. They do. Like they these do. last few years that thing have was been. Born many years i never Pathetic. watched that there was no reason for me to listen i want to watch it I'm, I'm going to hawaii i would love to go to hawaii but i don't need to be doing it just even when people at, go to hawaii they weren't even going at to the, the las game. vegas ballpark like come on they were just there for the hawaii they weren't even going just for the game they were just going because it was hawaii Back. that was exactly. an excuse exactly, exactly. Yeah. well and that's how so they come to vegas like it's go. another excuse for them but they just they need to make it into wrong. something else. Make it into just like a skills competitions and stuff. Because at this point, it's like we don't want it. Nobody wants to play. We're tired of seeing you not waste the time of being on the field. Just make competitions. Do whatever. I don't just know. Just not do it and do a ceremony or something. Give your accolades midseason or mm -hmm. something. Day. You know what I mean? Yep. Like, why? Just they making no the money for the that, league. They want me to make the, more just, money. Just announce the players that made right. the Pro Bowl and just keep it moving. Don't yeah, waste your time doing the game doing because it's, it's just a like, waste. You're not about to tear me up mid-season when we got a bowl possibly coming up. You're not about to see me up in this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> like anybody still oh, holding man. on first, possibly. Let it go. Right. You know? Yeah. All right. Uh, I have some sneakers. I don't know if Mo going to now. You know, Mo, she's not in the sneaker thing no more. She said last I'm week. over it. Oh, it's she's over it. The dunks, the dunks decided to inflate their price to ten dollars by ten dollars. So yeah, one ten, it's one twenty. For the so if load. you want dunks, get them now because they're gonna go up in about a. Inflation's gonna hit in about a if month. If you can get them, if you can get them. <laughs> All right, so uh, where you walk in. Pharrell's got these Adidas that are coming out, cardboards. It's a NMD, I don't know, Riot. These come out tomorrow, the Adidas, the Pharrell joints. Georgetown 6s, of course. These will be out on Saturday. Them so shits look nice. They are kind of nice. I don't even like 6s, but I do like these. Them shits look nice. <laughs> we got the Jordan <laughs> Got the Jordan 5 Lowe's. These are the uh, PSG Paris St. Germain's. Uh, these will oh, be on Saturday as those. well. you definitely be able to get those. Any Paris St. Germain's, those don't ever do too well. So somebody will get down. Okay. I don't even know why these came out or what Jordan's doing. Oh but God. Jordan has his own clog. The Sale Cement oh. Grays. These will be out on the 7th. So if all those people that hate Crocs... Want to jump on a crockish looking thing? Here it is. It just gives you a, a cement sock to go with it. <laughs> oh my! Uh, God. Here's a pair of dunks I hadn't seen before, so I wanted to post these ones. The dunk lows. These are gradient swoosh. These drop on the seventh. I like the color. You'll see Dawn Staley with a pair of those soon. <laughs> yeah, Dawn Staley will wear them. She yeah, definitely those will. Are nice. Those are nice. Those are nice. I like them colors. And then, of course, you got the Air Jordan ah. 1 mids, the game winners. These come out in 99. Of course, this goes back to his 1982 uh, championship hit against Georgetown. Mm. You see the picture of him cutting down the rim. They've got artistry. All that art's on the outside and the inside of one shoe, I guess. So that shoe's going to be $1,000. These, be... <laughs> these will be on the 9th. Well, the resale will be if you can get them. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. The shoe will be a thousand dollars. But they're a mid, guys. They're a mid. 
Well, it's still bad leather on the shoe. I mean, I don't care. Like, I like that just, netting though below the laces. I, I that like the whole concept. Yeah, that, like yeah, the yeah, yeah. That, like nice. that, that looks nice. That looks nice. Yeah, it yeah. does. It's a different. It's a different take, but it's still a mid at the end of the day. And it's gonna be a thousand dollars. There's gonna be people out there buying them though. It is. You know there will be. You know there will be. Yeah. You know where will be. Yeah, just to collect them. They can't even create a style with them. They can't even flex with them, right? They just going to put them on their shelf and let the things break down. Chris, just, just so you know, that. we have a, I, there's a sneaker drop section every week for Girl Chat Sports. He said the sneaker heads are loving the singer. This is a weekly thing where there's a, hey, here's what's coming up this week, just to ensure to put on your notifications. If you can get a drop, who knows? I know it's tough for a lot of people. That's one of Mo's uh, big things is it's too hard to no, get. No, my big shoes thing is the shoes are not the same anymore, and they're cheaply made leather, and sneaker heads are not really going for this bull crap anymore of resale, and we're not, and they're rocking reps now. They might as well go. To, it's made out of the same factory. Got more people walking around wearing the replicas that you do have and wearing the real, real <laughs> shoes. I mean, there's no point anymore. I mean, I'm, I'm about to grow up out of this, so I have to go designer and go to a whole nother level. Now you're going to have to hit my wallet even harder with the designer stuff. <laughs> I'm saying everybody crazy. wear Crocs now anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the Crocs uh, and all uh, of that. Like it's, no. just, it's just doing I see much. everybody and their mother wearing Crocs now. Stuff is, yeah, stuff, I'm about to wear some Doc Martens and some damn uh, Timberlands right about now. Like, stuff's getting goofy right now, though, in these streets, and I just don't <laughs> understand it. When Dunks used to sit on, hey, did you guys watch that um, And One documentary? I sure yeah. did. Okay, do you did you ever rock those And One sneakers? Absolutely no. not. Okay, so the Dunks were sitting on the shelf next to the And Ones. I'd always grab the Dunks. Now you can't walk in the store and even ask for a dunk. Like, that's crazy to me. No one wanted a chunky dunks shoe, Dre. Nobody. Yeah, well, but that remember means. back in Nobody Magic's time, too. Me. And then all it took was one little influencer to put them on, and then it just went like crazy. Everybody was dissing <laughs> the chunky dunks hard. Dissing them hard. Because they have no sense of style. And that's where it comes from. Like, if you don't know how to curate a look with the chunky dunks, then shame on you. But then they would, <laughs> took one influencer to put them on, and then they were like, oh, yeah. These hit and these it. And I still don't wear them with nothing. I've seen a couple people with them and I'm like, still not it. Still don't hit hard. Still would never hit as hard as if I had them. Like, it's unfair to me that the real sneaker heads that have been in this game, who stood in line for the sneakers for years, can't even get a shoe now. So I'm out. <laughs> can't do it. She's gone. All right, y'all. Yeah. Dre, we appreciate you joining on the show Thank today. You, can you please let people know where they can find you on the socials? Uh, on Facebook, Dre Day. Twitter, Dre Day1985. Instagram, Dre Day1985. And Sportswear with Dre Day Podcast. Uh, Sportswear with Dre Day Podcast. The Hood DSPN. Crystal Streets Golden Boy. Y'all can find me on all streaming platforms except Title. Uh, I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, iTunes, iHeartRadio, all those good places. Tell a friend to tell a friend, and that's where y'all can find your boy. Well, we appreciate right, you we coming on. It was much yeah. love. I, I appreciate, I appreciate y'all having me, man. Y'all know, y'all already, y'all already know how much I love y'all. Y'all know how much I love y'all. So yeah, well, we appreciate, appreciate you too. Thanks for the support, bro. Everybody. For real. Hey, everybody, and that's been in the chat. Thank you. We appreciate you. Feel free to share. Catch the replay for just tuning in. And if not, we will catch you all uh, next Thursday. Hopefully, there is a sweep, like Mo says, and we'll have a show next Thursday. For some I reason, so. Aces. If they is going to get five, we not going to have a show next week. So we'll see what happens. We will keep you in the loop as long as you're following us on the social Chris, media. Chris, when I'm looking for you, too, when I see you in that hallway. <laughs> All right, y'all. Have a good night. Have a safe Labor Day weekend. We'll catch y'all hopefully next week. We are out.